Welcome to the channel, everybody. This is Alan Paul, and we're about to start a new game of No Man's Sky. Now, at the production of this particular video, we are starting out with the latest update, the Interceptor update, 4.2. We have no idea what system we're going to start in, and we're going to do this in normal mode, so we can give you guys a regular playthrough. Um, I have a few playthroughs on here. I've got my main save here. I've got a backup save over here. I've got a couple other recorded playthroughs that I've done, as well as a survival mode and a training save. Um, I don't have a third save. Now, that sounds kind of odd, but the reason why I'm doing a fresh one is because I had some problems with my original main save not too long ago and decided, hey, it's about time to start over. So let's give you guys a Season 2 normal playthrough. We'll choose normal mode. We're not going to make any changes to the custom settings or anything like that. And we're going to go complete storyline. We're going to be reading everything. And, well, I hope you enjoy the story. Um, not sure if No Man's, that is Hello Games, has made any changes to the storyline in any way. But I guess we're going to find out. Probably not, but I've noticed some minor changes last time I played. So, so this is how the game is played, and here's how it starts. Initialization. We're playing on PC and Steam. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, it looks like we are on... I'm going to guess a hot planet. Whenever it looks like Mars, that's what I think. So basically the premise is that you're stranded. You are awakening on a planet with no knowledge of what has come before or any knowledge whatsoever of what's going on, but you have this innate ability or desire to survive, obviously, and to make it to your ship and find out what you need to do. A lot of people get confused at this point and don't really know what they need to be doing. So we'll be going through a couple of items here real quick. And there's your character in all their glory. Very odd look to them. Looks like they're in a spacesuit with a slit visor, but I'm going to leave it in this mode so you can see the character. So first thing we need to do is pay attention to what it tells us on the screen. Okay. It tells us we need to perform a scan, harvest sodium, and recharge our hazard protection. So we're going to hit the C button like it told us. But our scanner is critically damaged. We need ferrite dust. We have to gather ferrite dust in order to be able to do that. How do we? What is ferrite? Ferrite is iron, so we get it from rocks right there. And I use my multi-tool just by holding down the mouse button to gather it. It says we need 75 of it. These rocks just by themselves have given us 33. So let's get some more. We need at least 75. Every now and then, as you're gathering things, you may get more than just the ferrite dust. We're up to 71, and that should get us beyond what we need. So if we hit our tab button, that's what we're going to do is repair this right now with the 75 that we've gathered. Uh, looks like we have some supercharged slots in here, so that's good. So now that that's repaired, we're going to hit our scanner button, and it's going to tell us to look for sodium. Now here's sodium right in front of us. It's always a yellow plant that glows. The glow goes away when you gather it, and you use that. You see it tells you to hit the X button for a quick menu, recharge equipment, hazard protection, and it tells you you can use your sodium. And there you go. Now, it didn't charge it all the way, as you can see by the bottom left, but it got us pretty far. But we have a lot more sodium floating around, so we're going to go for all that as much as we can. It tells us that our starship is detected in that general direction. So we'll head there in a minute, but right now we need to gather supplies. The bottom line is... Gather anything that you can gather. Try to leave the animals alone. You probably won't need them right now. You will need all these blue crystals, so go ahead and gather them up. If you need to scan again, go ahead and scan and look for that sodium. The NA is sodium. That is the uh, marker for them in the periodic table of elements. See how that works? So since our ship is in this general direction, we're going to try to go in that general direction. And as we go, we want to gather up other items, like carbon, for instance. Get as much of that as you can get, because you will need it. Go ahead and gather more ferrite dust. Now, you notice, my, if you look at my top right, my charge beam is at 25. 
we will need a lot more carbon to charge that back up so we need to get more of that as we go all the plants are carbon based as you might imagine that makes sense right if you learned anything in school that's the one thing you did learn we are carbon based and so are all the plants it will constantly remind you of certain things that are going on with your exosuit so I'll gather up all these plants and rocks while I'm at it so I can gather up all the resources I need now it's a hot planet as you can see it's 161.8 degrees Fahrenheit you can feel free to do the temperature change in Celsius if you wish there we go yeah I know now you may come across these caches if you will these are damaged containers that are left behind they have metal in them so you might as well grab it for now we'll show you what to do with that later and they open up and give you something now this one gives me condensed carbon that is carbon that is obviously condensed and gives you more uh, bang for the buck if you will always open up the red containers too at the very beginning looks like we got some more condensed carbon out of both of them it appears so if we hit tab again and we go to our exosuit inventory we'll see these are the things I've gathered up so far this will be we can turn into ferrite dust later so we'll do that much later uh, we have some condensed carbon which if we go to our multi-tool and we put it into the recharging see and we also want to take that and put it in a supercharged slot for now because they get more powerful and they'll gather more resources for us since the blue crystals are here we're going to go ahead and gather them up Let's get as much of that as possible. You see, we're actually, from this deposit, we're getting more because we have put our unit into a charge slot. So that's good. Now, one thing we're also going to need, you notice we have a health monitor, too. Hey, look, some more sodium. Let's grab it while we're here. Okay. Is these plants here. They give us oxygen from the gassy pods on them, but when they explode, they can hurt us. So allow them to do that and then go in and gather up the gassy pods. They have three of them per plant. And then if you wish, you can also take them out and they'll give you even more oxygen. See, I got an extra 14 from it, but I got an initial 43. You'll need that oxygen later, so you might as well gather it up. Again, our ship is this way. Let's do one more scan and see if there's anything on the way. Uh, we got some sodium all the way over there. We got some more sodium over here. Let's go ahead and take a detour. We have a jetpack that'll get us moving quicker, so use that as well. Now, it looks like the sodium is down below in this case, but we have some on the surface, so we'll grab the stuff on the surface for now. Okay. And it looks like we have some deuterium here. That'll help boost your jetpack. These little items here are special. They are chlorine, and if you can gather them up, go ahead and gather them, because they will give you money later on. You can trade them in. They're not useful to you in any other form for anything else, really, other than to create things sometimes and to get money. So if you come across something odd, try to gather it up while you can. So I'm going to gather that so we get a little extra money, and we'll get some more carbon out of that. I can't get that. I need an advanced mining laser to get that. Now our shield is lowering, so we have to be careful here. Our hazard protection, that is. Let's do another scan, see if we have any sodium on the way. We do not. There's a little bit over there. Let's go ahead and grab another plant if we can. Now, as you might imagine, uh, hiding from the elements is a great idea if you can find yourself a cave. Yep, yeah, looks like that one was deep underground as well for some reason and I can't get it. So I'm going to use what sodium I have in my inventory to charge me up. And it looks like I had enough to get nearly a full charge. Um, we're heading in the wrong direction, so we're going to head over to our ship. And you see these metal deposits on the ground here. Um, we can't harvest them yet. We need something called a terrain manipulator, which we cannot build. So don't even bother looking at them right now. There's no use. And here's our ship. So if we do, whoop, we have a cave right next to us. Let's go around the edge of this so we don't fall. Now there's plants in here called cave marrow. 
it's not a bad idea to go ahead and harvest them because we can turn them into sodium later. And I'll show you how to do that. And I'll just get a few of them. Now, remember that thermal protection issue? This is considered a cave, even though it doesn't go in very deep. Head inside, and as you get over to one spot, watch your arrow on the right. See? Now it goes to the right. You have recharged your hazard protection. You also have something in here called cobalt. We're going to go ahead and gather that up too at, at a different point. So right now, let's go ahead and head over to the ship and see what it tells us to do. It's actually not highlighting the ship. It's highlighting the beacon over on the side there. So let's take a look. Looks like a crashed ship and it's in a bad spot. I'm not going to read the iteration numbers. Boundary separation failure likely. Vessel emptied. Cause sentinel inter intervention, deliberate transfer. Analysis, fresh iteration generated. Anomaly containment prepared. So, it's trying to tell us that we have been regenerated as a fresh iteration of ourselves. Interesting thought. Let's broadcast. Broadcast received. Traveler anomaly detected. That's us. Anomaly is compliant. Position locked, system integrity scan initialized. And that's it. So we have started our mission. Now you'll notice that there were some red uh, plants over here. Where did they go? They were over here someplace. Uh, right over here. Right over there. Right over here. Okay, they kind of vanished on me. Let's check it out. Oh, here they are. They're just blending in with the landscape so well. These are your first supply of oxygen, other than the plants that we gathered it from. Go ahead and take them. And that gives us about, yeah, 93 oxygen. Okay, so that can recharge our life support over time. Check every piece of machinery. This damaged machinery has some goop on it. You can get rid of it if you wish, just by hitting your center button to destroy blockage. It'll open and give you something. Usually it's in the form of nanites, like you can see there. I got 33 nanites. That's a secondary form of pay of money in this game. We'll check this canister. This one happened to have carbon in it. Cadet's carbon, pardon me. Remember these? That one gave my dihydrogen, and the other one gave me... I'm guessing dihydrogen. Okay, we're going to get this damage container too. We're going to save the metal again. And that one gave us just regular carbon. Okay. This last container is called an Atlas container. And you need a special pass in order to open them. So don't even bother with those. You'll also see some buried technology. It is a good idea to get as much of that as possible. You'll need it down the road a ways. Now, we can't dig for it. We can't get it that way. Even if we gather the stuff that's in front of us, we still can't get to it. Okay? But if you switch to your first person view, which if you go into your settings and select the person... You can toggle your camera view. Now I'm going to put it as a hotkey. I'm going to use my left control button and select it. Hold down my left control button, select a number, and that gives me a hotkey for it. So I can switch back and forth. As you can see, third person, first person, third, first, third. Okay, good. You get the idea. I'm going to go back into first person, and if I look at this item and get close enough, it should allow me to pick it up, as you can see. And it tells you how much you get. Looks like I got four out of that. Now, they're very valuable, too. This is worth 208,000 units. This by itself, of the 619, is only worth 205 units each. This one is worth 52,000 units each. So, for early game money, that's worth it. But, hang on to it. Try not to sell it if you can. So, now we have to get into our starship and figure out what's going on. So, let's go ahead and do that. Iteration, nope, not going to tell you the number. Online. Atlas connection, intermittent. Launch thrusters, offline. Pulse engine, offline. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of a before. But this ship at least rec seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I'm not dead yet. And this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. So we're going to read the log now. Let's see what it says. Log 4925A. Notice it says A on it. That's going to be important. 
unavailable, substituting data. Exosuit, connected, suggestion, pilot should perform maintenance, select desired repair path. So we're going to go straight on to repairing the ship systems. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. Pulse engine is critically damaged. As you can see, we need a hermetic seal and metal plating. So, and it also says at the bottom right that our launch thrusters are critically damaged. And press E to exit. So we're going to get out of the ship. There we go. Right here. Oh, get back into third person view. Repair the pulse engine. We need metal plating. So let's go ahead and do that. To do that, we need to craft it. To do that, we need to go in here, and it says it's highlighting this right now. Let me just go back to the main inventory so you see something. So to make metal plating, see if you hit the right button, it tells you you need 50 ferrite dust. Now we have enough of it, so we're going to go ahead and create that metal plate right now. Then we're going to go back to our starship. You'll see we can add that to this. We still don't have one of these. So as it exits, it tells us what's going on. Starship repair partially complete. Board the Starship and consult ship diagnostics. So we're going to get back on board. Iteration, not going to tell you. Functional. Starship critically damaged. Vital ingredients missing. Unable to synthesize required components. Pulse engine requires a hermetic seal. Request assistance. Recommendation. Iteration comparison reveals hermetic seal nearby. Salvage a planetary chart from distress distress beacon cache. So we're going to go ahead and repair the pulse engine with a hermetic seal. And it's directing us to go back to the unit that we'd already gone back to. So let's go ahead and exit. Go back up to the unit we'd already consulted with. It should pop out again. I peer inside the beacon's housing, as well as its distress broadcast unit. It contains a planetary chart, so we'll take that. And if we look in our inventory, there it is. And if you hit the E button, it gives you a huge pullback. This is handy to scout out the terrain, too. And there it is. It's located over there. It looks like we got something in the way, too. So it is 967 units distant, so we better start walking. Now you can run if you wish. You'll notice the bottom right, I'm using up run ability. And if you use your jetpack, you can go a little bit quicker. Now see these units here? Gather them if you come across them. They give you navigation data, which is also very handy, but sometimes they give you something special. This time they just gave navigation data, and that's very handy. Always scan when you get a chance and look for sodium. You're going to need it, especially on this run. Else you will also need, and you notice as I ran, I went too far, and it burned it out. So it had to recharge. So now I can run again. I got a little bit of sodium ahead of me. We need that. Else we're going to need caves like over there. Because we have a storm coming. Now because I don't have any sodium on me, this bottom left unit over here is going to start dropping rapidly. So, ooh, you can run into things if you use your jetpack. So gather as much sodium as you can and keep recharging. Nope, another unit. Let's go ahead and grab it while we can. Okay, got that. Some more sodium over here. We'll get that too. Hopefully it's on top of the ground. There we go. Okay. And you notice it now has two arrows pushing us down, and the temperature has reached over 200 degrees. Our scanner's recharged, so let's scan again. We've got a little bit more over here, so let's keep going. Notice it's at three arrows now. And with the heat, it makes your jetpack work better. Pretty neat, huh? So we'll gather up the sodium that's over here now. All right, that should be enough sodium to get us by. Get us out of the hole there. <laughs> oh, look, another one. We got fortunate there. So let's go ahead and recharge ourselves. And we got plenty of sodium to get by. So here's our site. This is where we're headed. Um, let's gather up things as we go. It's one thing I can always teach you to do. Because you need resources early on. Now, fortunately, it looks like this is like a... Uh, an abandoned campsite so we can gather up things if we're fortunate these things will carry 
something that we can use other than just nanites. And nope, just nanites that time too. But there's always going to be some buried technology, but usually it's buried so deep you can't get to it here. So if we go inside, there you go. So while we're here, we're going to go ahead and use the Universal Language Database, and it's going to teach us a new word. Uh, Universal Translation Service Reached Lifeform Dictionary Available. Learn a word. And it learned us the GEC word for GEC, so we know we're on a GEC system now. That's interesting. What else is in this room? Nothing else that we can select except this, the Hollow Archive. So let's check it out. Accessing Archive. Six of seven logs corrupted. Entry 4924. A follows. No one Zzz. making this recording in case Zzz. leaving behind. And I'm going to skip, get past all these buzzing noises. In the fabricator might be of some use. Visor damaged. Can't find ship. So we're going to recover supplies. The log finishes and the machine whirs to life, spitting out supplies. I have the hermetic seal. I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. Indeed. So now we have the Hermetic Seal. And now we can make a Hermetic Seal if we wish to. So we get that particular recipe, if you will. Remember, we got other stuff in our inventory. I'm going to move, take this opportunity to move some stuff down that we are hanging on to. This is stuff I'm going to sell. And this is stuff I'm going to be using, if you will. So this is stuff I'm going to use as well. I like to keep certain things together. So I'll put the oxygen over here for now, and I'll keep all these grouped together. All right. So our health life support is running a little low. If we select it, we can use dioxide, which we can't get here. Life support gels, which we can make, but we don't have what we need to make it just yet. Or we can use 22 oxygen. So we'll go ahead and use the 22 oxygen. And now we're recharged. Trying to let it run out. I do that all the time. Okay. So let's move on. Let's check out, since the storm is over, let's check out the other building here. Make sure there's nothing inside. Uh, yeah, it's empty. Oh, well, no, not really. There is a life support unit in here. So if you need first aid, if you lose a heart, you can get one of those and your health will go to maximum. Or it'll recharge the one heart. And that thing over time will also recharge. So let's see if we can get this. I don't think it's... I think it's too deep for us to reach it. Oh, yep, I can get it. Good. And how much did we get out of that one? Just two. Okay. All right, so where's our ship? Right? We can't do it. Why? So let's look for it. Oh, we need an analysis visor. Okay. So let's go ahead and install that. Where do we install it? It goes in our multi-tool. So we're going to go ahead and select. You see we have three things we can build. We'll build this, and it requires a carbon nanotube. We can't build those items in the inventory of the multi-tool, so we have to go somewhere else. So we'll build it here. Carbon nanotube is made from 50 carbon. That's why you needed it. And there you go. So we go back to our multi-tool. Now that we have the ingredient, our analysis visor is now complete. And analyze objects for rewards and locate your starship. So now if we hit the F button, and you'll notice at the top of the screen we now have a compass. And we can analyze things. So anything with a red dot you can analyze. Those are animals. And if you analyze them, see I got 1125 credits for it. And it tells us what the animal is and what it's doing. And that now turned green. So analyze all the red dots you can. We go up here. Yep, see this little guy here? We've already analyzed him. Let's get the big guy over here, once we can get the other guy out of the way. See? 3,000 for him. Uh, looks like this is a weird-looking creature. We've got to get out of the way of that one. Okay, good. Another 3,000. Uh, let's get this little creature over here. And you notice it'll tell us at the bottom right that we've discovered four of the seven creatures here. Try to discover all of them. They're very, very handy. Ooh, we got a salvage container there. Too bad we can't dig for it right now. Any other red dots anywhere? I don't see any. So we've discovered all the animals in the vicinity. Always check the sky, too, because there's sometimes flying animals. Flying creatures? We'll just leave it at that. Now, another thing it tells you, you see on the screen, it gives that arrow on the right-hand side. It looks like it's telling us where our ship is. 
it's over here. And you can then use your E button. Well, it's already highlighted. So if we take an item and do that, we can highlight a deposit or we can highlight the ship or drop a marker down. But we're going to be heading towards the ship, which is at a thousand units away. So let's head that way. Now we may get another storm. So once again, scan and try to look for sodium. Because we're, again, we're going to need it. Because now that storms have become active, we'll get more of those happening on a regular basis. There's one there. It looks like there's one right over here. We're going to go ahead and grab that one too. Ooh, we got two plants. That's good. Every now and then you'll run across a deposit that is huge. They'll have like 20 plants all gathered around each other. Look for those, and at night they're easier to find. Looks like we got sh ships flying overhead. And you see that item there? That's one of those damaged machineries we can head towards. So let's gonna, we're going to head over there on the way to our ship and see if it's got anything in there for us. Now on the way, you'll notice there's another yellow plant over here. I can see it by its glow, so we're going to go ahead and gather it. And looks like we got some damaged containers. Well, again, we'll gather that for now. And there's two of them, so we'll get the other one too. There we go. And let's head on to our ship, shall we? Except we're going to hit this damaged machinery on the way. Now we're going to run this in stages in order to get to a certain point. Oh, we didn't get anything. Hold on. There we go. Once the flames go out, you got what you got. Okay, so we got nanites out of that one. Alright, let's keep going. There we go. Did we already scan you, buddy? No, we didn't. Let's scan you. That's a fifth creature. Anything else around while we're here? I don't see anything. We got a couple greenies. And looking straight up and into the sky. I know this is disconcerting, but... Nope. Looks like we're good. Okay. Head on to the ship. Oops. And I think we already scanned you, right? Yes, we did. And all these... Creatures seem to be very nice creatures. They're not attacking us or anything like that. And I'm going to keep doing that to go a little further. There's a lot of videos teaching you how to... Jump thrust, as they call it. Or thrust jump. Thrust back. I don't know. There's a name for it. Once again, I'm going to keep a look around while I'm walking. Just to see if there's anything to see. It'll tell me everything about my ship from a distance. It's a C-class ship, what its value is, how many slots are available. Damage, streeled, hyperdrive, maneuverability. There's no hyperdrive installed, but it tells us what it can have. All right, so let's get into the ship. And that will get myself recharging as well, as you can see. So we need to repair the pulse engine with that piece, and let's go ahead and do it. So that's done. Okay, so what else is next? The launch thrusters critically damaged. We already know this, right? So the first thing we need to do is repair the launch thrusters with dihydrogen jelly. So you remember those blue crystals we were getting? That tells us to craft it. We need 40 of 40. So let's take a look. We got 130 right now. So if we select here, we get our dihydrogen jelly. There we go. Go back to our starship. We can now repair that piece of it. But we also need pure ferrite. And that will tell us what to do. Repair the launch thrusters. Advanced materials required. Exit the ship. So we need a simple refiner. We just got a new recipe for a refiner. So if we hit our Z button into our build menu, you see we now have a deployable technology of a portable refiner. It requires 30 oxygen. Glad we gathered some of that. And a metal plate. You remember how to build those, right? So let's get the metal plate. And then, when we go back to here, we should be able to now build it. So, let's go into there and see what we got. 
So first of all, it needs fuel. It uses either carbon or condensed carbon. Now, if you put condensed carbon in, once you get it back out of the machine, it'll come back to you as regular carbon. Um, I've got plenty of each. I like to save this for my um, mining laser, but you can put it in here as well. Now, if you take all 27 and put it in there, it'll fully charge it. We don't need that much, but I'm going to do it anyway just to show you. Now, it doesn't tell you how charged it is, but it is fully charged and ready to go. First thing we're going to do is get ferrite dust. Now, it needs 50, right? We only got 22. It'll make 22 pure ferrite for us. One to one ratio on that. So let's take it out. We don't have enough. So what do we need to do? We need to gather up more ferrite. You, get, you guessed it. Little rocks will give us a little bit. Now, at some point, you've got to be a little bit careful about gathering resources on any planet because the sentinels are going to appear soon, usually within the first day. So very soon, there's going to be a sentinel appearing, and he'll float around, and he'll get angry if we keep gathering up stuff. So I'm going to gather up as much ferrite dust as I can right now. You know, so I'm up to about 150. We need as much as we can get because we've been using it for metal plates and stuff. Alright, so I'm going to get a couple hundred of it. There we go. That should do. Now, have we already discovered those animals? Yes, we did. Now, you can, you can also scan items like this. Like, for instance, that mushroom there. You'll notice on the left-hand side it says it's unidentified. That has a primary element and a secondary element. Now, we already know it gives us carbon. What else will it give us? Ah, it gives us oxygen as a secondary element. Same thing with the rocks, primary and secondary. What does this give us? Your ferrite and carbon. So scan as much as you can to find out what items give you what. Even the little things. That only has a primary element, so we'll get that. But it gives us money for discovering it as well. You can discover just pretty much about anything here. This one is primary and secondary. Also oxygen. There we go. Let's get the big rock. Pure ferrite and oxygen. The little rock. Ferrite and dihydrogen. So see? And then finally, this is from the cave. This is one of the stalagmites. That gives us just straight cobalt. Now there's ones that obviously the stalactites that hang from the ceiling. We don't see any in here just yet, but we'll get those later. So we have enough pure ferrite. Let's go back to our refiner. And we need to put more in here. So we don't need... We already have 22. So if you hit the C button, you can cut this in half. And we need... That'll give us 48 total. So let's go ahead and just do that. We'll need two more. Two more. So we'll see this all the way down to two. There we go. That should get us everything we need. You notice it's not flashing anymore. So if we go in our inventory, you'll see we now have 50. Move them around. 50 pure ferrite. We're going to use it all. Let's put it in. And you notice that the sparks and flames, they're gone. The ship is now fully repaired and ready to go. Before you leave, I'm going to show you a couple of things. So we've got the ship repaired. We're going to be ending the episode here very shortly. Do some maintenance while you're here. For instance, the marrow bulbs, if you put them in here at a one-to-one -one ratio, will give you sodium. Go ahead and gather it up. But you notice it takes a little bit longer to do this one. So let's get that into my inventory. Boom. And also, remember all that metal I gathered? This gives us a 1 to 2 ratio for ferrite dust. But see, it's going to take about 4 minutes. So just go ahead and get it started. You can exit. It will sit there and run away. It's going to be kind of a glowy red color to it. When it turns green, it means it's completed. So while we're waiting on that, gather up some other items. You definitely need cobalt. So let's go ahead and get that. I mentioned getting it before, and I'll show you uses for it. You almost always start near a cave. And this is not a very big cave. But, you know, it's worth it. I'll gather up all the cobalt here I can. 
and as your laser heats up you notice it's getting red and you're gonna get an overheating warning it'll it'll harvest quicker but it will overheat if you keep it going so try to just keep it at a high state by letting go every now and then and I'll show you some of the other things that I gathered with those Oh, that does have stalactites in here. Tights. These are the stalactites. There we go. Also, we're not getting any secondary elements, but every now and then you run across a stalagmite or stalactite that doesn't have cobalt. It'll have another rare element. Gold, silver, or platinum. Gather up what you can, as you can. And I'm going to gather up as much as I can, because this cave is not very big. And it's worth it to me to gather up as much cobalt as I need. Cobalt is used to make something that you can use to recharge your shield. And that is batteries. Now our other unit over there should be just about finished. Oh, get that last one it looks like. There we go. Any more? A couple more down here. Let's just go ahead and grab them. I'm going to get away from that. I'll show you that in just a second. So in these caves, occasionally you'll find a plant that could be dangerous to you. There we go. And it's right there. So let's look at it through the visor. These are known as hazardous flora. But if you attack them, you get things out of it. Usually oxygen or sodium. So there you go. One of each. Oh, depleted. Let's recharge, and like I said, I'm going to use my condensed carbon to charge it. And there's a third one there, and it has oxygen. Just couldn't see it. Okay. And once they're out of the way, they're out of the way. You don't have to worry about them anymore. So it looks like I've harvested all the resources from here. Let's check this out. Looks like it's still running. We've got 73%. 74. So let's see what we have in our inventory. So remember the cobalt we were gathering? It gave us some geodes. And sometimes when you get geodes or crystals from some of the things that you harvest, it gives you bonuses. And sometimes it'll give you some alternate forms of metal. So that's going to come in handy. Let's go ahead and recharge our suit. But before we do so, guess what we can make now? We can make something called an ion battery. It requires ferrite dust and 10 cobalt. What does the ion battery do for us? We can now take this and put it into our hazard protection to fully charge it. Now we don't have to use as much sodium. Good unit to have. So let's hang on to that. This should be just about finished. Now what you can do is you can either pull it out of the unit and put it in your inventory if you wish, or whatever happens to be in the unit at the time that it finishes, if you just try to pick up the refiner, it'll give you everything that is in it. So notice it says, nothing left on the left, it's got 758. If I pick it up by holding down the center button, the carbon comes to me, and the 758 ferrite dust. And the little unit appears in my inventory, so now I can place him down anywhere I wish. Okay? So that is pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and get in my ship, and we're going to be taking off into the next episode, and we'll tell you what we're going to be doing next. So I hope you've enjoyed this starting edition of Season 2 of the regular playthrough with the 4.2 update. Um, please hit that like button. Please hit subscribe if you liked what you hear. And we'll see you in the next episode.